Happy Tuesday, my beautiful YouTube family. Today I am going to show you some DIY Cinco de Mayo party decor. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet a subscriber and turn on bell notifications so I can annoy you in your inbox. Because I already had everything on hand, this cost me nothing. You're going to need stickers, ribbon, twine, or thread, whatever you want to hang it off of, hot glue, scissors, an X-Acto knife, and some thicker paper. So you can obviously do whatever kind of message you want for whatever kind of party. It doesn't have to be what I'm putting down here, but what you're going to do is take your stickers, write your message out onto the piece of paper, like the thicker paper that I told you you're going to need. I'm doing Cinco de Drinco. Then all you're going to do is literally take your X-Acto knife or your scissors and cut out those letters. The reason that we're putting the stickers onto the paper is because it's going to prevent the letters from curling. The last thing you're going to do is either tape or hot glue the letters directly onto the ribbon, thread, or twine that you're hanging them off of. I personally find it way easier when I lay out the letters prior to hot gluing them on. For this tissue paper garland, you are going to need obviously some colored tissue paper, scissors, rope, twine, thread, whatever you want to hang it off of, and a hot glue gun. I went ahead and cut my tissue paper on the thicker side at one of the folds. Now you're going to slide that underneath the rope and fold it over so it folds in half. Add a dab of hot glue and again fold it over and make sure it's secure. Repeat that with as many colors as you'd like. After you are done hot gluing all your colors to your heart's content, you're going to want to hang this up. It will make it a lot easier. So go ahead and tape it up temporarily. Once it's hung up, you're going to take your scissors and start to create the fringe on every single piece of tissue paper. So literally slice it up. Once you are done creating the fringe, you are done creating the garland. Obviously, if you want it longer, you're going to have to add more pieces of tissue paper, but I think this looks pretty dope. For this streamer garland you're about to see, I only spent about three bucks because I had to buy the streamers from the dollar store. So you're going to need obviously streamers, scissors, rope, twine, or thread, whatever you want to hang it off of. I would start by hanging up the rope, twine, or thread that you're going to hang the streamers off of. So do that first. So go ahead and pull the streamers out to your desired length. And then you're going to actually double that because you're going to fold it over and find the middle. Once you find that middle, go back to your string and loop that underneath it and then pull the streamer ends through the loop, creating like a little knot, if you will. Pull that tight to secure it and then repeat it with as many streamers as you want. That is all you have to do and it makes a world of difference for your photo backdrop at your event or honestly just for decor. For these napkin ring holders, you are going to need the cardboard piece of the toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, a hot glue gun, some tissue paper, and scissors. So you're going to want a lot of colors because obviously it's Cinco de Mayo and you just want to be super festive and colorful and bright. So I just laid out all the tissue paper, not in any specific order, but just so I can kind of bulk cut them all together. Once they were all laid out, I literally just eyeballed it and cut it a little bit thicker. But if you want to do more colors on the roll, which will make sense later, you're going to want to cut it thinner. This is what I meant by a bulk cut, obviously. Now you don't have to individually cut every single strand, which saves you a lot of time. Next, you're just going to go ahead and cut the toilet paper roll in half. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see how I got this out without having to use the entire roll of toilet paper. So there are two ways I'm going to show you how I did this DIY. The first way is to add a dab of hot glue and just start to wrap the strands of tissue without cutting them before putting it on. Now you're gonna go ahead and cut like halfway up that first layer to make your fringe of the napkin ring. When I got that first layer of red on, I realized how thick I cut these guys. So I actually ended up folding these guys in half which added more texture because it added more layers to the fringe. When I went to cut the fringe on the second layer, this is when I realized I made this much more difficult than it needed to be. But I stuck with it and completed this ring with this method. Personally, I always use cloth napkins when I'm using napkin rings and I just grab the middle of the napkin and just pull it up and then I just bunch it all together and it ends up looking sort of fancy and yeah. The quicker way to do this DIY is to fold and pre-cut the fringe before you put it on the toilet paper roll. So literally that's what I did for the rest of my napkin rings. 
To spruce up these dollar store utensils, all you're going to need are obviously the utensils, some colors that you can get from your local craft store, and masking tape. You don't necessarily need the tape, but I do it to have cleaner lines. So what you're gonna do is literally wrap it around the utensil at whatever angle that you want. And then you're just gonna literally dip it all the way down to the paint so it's fully covered and set that aside and let it dry, then repeat it with as many utensils as you want. One thing that I do recommend is tapping the excess paint off as much as you can, that way it dries as smooth as possible. Go ahead and let those dry completely and then you can rip off the tape. Do not worry if it is not a clean line, just grab a paper towel with some water on it and it literally comes off so easily. So we went from this to this for less than five bucks because I got the utensils and the tape from the dollar store and then I got my paint from Michaels which was like 79 cents each. For these canned florals, obviously you're gonna need cans, florals, some dirt, aquarium pebbles, if you need them if you're putting cacti in it, and some shears you don't care about to cut the flowers. I am not a professional florist by any means, I just picked all these flowers up when I was taking Callie on a walk the other day, so whatever I thought looked good to match my colorway, I just shoved in a can. <laughs> so there's three steps for canned florals. Get the can, get the florals, put them in, and add water, so four steps. If you want to do a cactus or a succulent, you're going to have to poke some holes in the bottom of the can, add some rocks, add your dirt, then add your plant, and then as a kicker, you can add some aquarium rocks to the top to add some color. These cans do not need labels for the most part. I normally spray paint them metallics and then use them for other events, but it's totally your call. All right, guys, that is how I DIY'd my Cinco de Mayo party decor. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet a subscriber. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for all the love and Support. We are almost at 26k. I'm gonna be dropping another video tomorrow and then another one on Sunday. I hope you guys have a rad Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow.